What's up Cubers? My name's Kenneth. Today I'm really excited to open this box. It's from David Pitcher. It's got some of the puzzles he designed in it and uh, they're one of a kind and I can't wait to take a look. So let's open it up. Got a note from him and here are the puzzles. Okay, I think I have a good order to, so to show you guys these puzzles. I'm going to start first with the Roto Prism puzzles. So if you uh, have been following my channel for a while, I showed the Roto Prism 2 a long time ago. And uh, that was a puzzle by David Pitcher. And this is his Roto Prism 2 Peekaboo puzzle. And it's essentially the same thing as the Roto Prism 2. Uh, it has these deeper than origin cuts. Um, and the only difference is it has these little windows and there's internal pieces that have stickers on them. And so not only do you have to uh, solve the external kind of colors, you also have to make sure that the internal uh, pieces are solved as well. And so that adds difficulty to the solving. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it exposes uh, deep, uh, uh, more challenges to the Roto Prism. So I'm excited to try that out. I actually have a tutorial on how to solve the Roto Prism too, but uh, I don't know yet how to solve this one because of course I have to solve the peekaboo pieces. Um, so anyway, that's the Roto Prism 2 peekaboo. So here is the Roto Prism 3, and uh, from what I've told, this is pretty much the same as the Roto Prism 2 Peekaboo, except for those internal pieces are now visible. So uh, anyway, I'm excited to give this a try as well. Uh, and I think if I can solve this one, then this one I can solve as well, and uh, vice versa. So anyway, it should, uh, should be fun to try to solve uh, these new Roto Prism puzzles. I'm really excited about it. So the next puzzle is the tri-dot. Uh, the tri-dot is a triangular prism and it's, it's edge turning. And so you can see it's a triangle turned into a prism and these edges here can turn. Let's see, if, oh yeah, oh wow. <laughs> that is really cool. Uh, and you can see when you turn it, the dot comes with it. So if I turn this bottom one, the dot goes with it, or the top, the dot goes with it. So this is the tri-dot. Uh, it will shape shift. So you can see uh, I make one turn, now I can make a second. It shape shifts and it's also jumbling. And uh, it can actually uh, internally bandage. So yeah, it, you would think that this could turn here, but it's not turning. Um, and so that's gonna make it difficult. Um, so yeah, so this is a the tri-dot. Um, and uh, the, a lot of these are gonna be similar because this is also a triangular prism and it's the uh, tricopter six curvy. And so it has uh, the six uh, edges of the top and bottom face. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can all twist like that. Um, and it too is a shape-shifting and jumbling puzzle. Uh, and it, uh, <laughs> it looks really confusing. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think I'm gonna have a lot of trouble with these puzzles for sure. So here we have the Tricopter 9 and it's similar to the Tricopter 6 in that it's a uh, triangular prism that's been pillowed and what's cool about this one is not only does it turn on the six axes on the top and bottom triangle, it also will turn on these, these long edges as well. And it can turn like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see it makes those turns, but it will also do these same kind of turns that the Tricopter 6 did. So uh, I, I'm really excited to mess this one up as I am on all of these puzzles. And I believe this one also will uh, shape shift and jumble. Let's see if I can figure it out. So now this looks like the top, even though I know the top was here and there. It looks weird, doesn't it? So yeah, uh, that's the Tricopter 9. So here's the final puzzle. This is the Tetracopter 12, and it's similar to the Tricopter 9. You can see they have very similar shapes, uh, and it's basically uh, instead of a uh, triangular prism, it is a rectangular prism. And if you think about it, it's very similar to an edge turning cube that has been stretched out a little bit. And there's an edge, the edge turning cube is 
called the helicopter cube, right? So it's very similar to the helicopter cube. Um, and it's kind of a helicopter cube that was pulled in one direction. So you can see uh, these edges turn like a helicopter cube. Um, and these ones can turn, I believe, in 60 degrees at a time. So, whoa, don't want, I want to get it back. And this one actually um, doesn't uh, jumble, although obviously it shape shifts. Um, and you can see the edges on the top square and the bottom square turn in 60 degrees, but uh, these um, long edges turn in 180 degrees. And they might even turn 90 degrees. Let's see, can we turn it 90? And then, oh yeah, ooh, ooh, that's amazing. That's bizarre. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, so yeah, this is this is a really uh, cool puzzle, and I have to say this one turns great. Um, the it, it looks amazing and it, it turns really well. Um, it, it's it's just pretty cool. I don't know what to say. Um, it's amazing. It doesn't look like this would turn. You, I don't know if you can see. There's like a straight, pretty straight line here, and then it curves up here. But this actually all turns. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty amazing. That one's really cool. And that's the Tetracopter 12. Anyway, he, these are all the uh, the puzzles I got from David Pitcher. Uh, I'm going to try to solve them, and we'll see which ones I can and which ones I can't. Uh, hopefully in, in a couple weeks when I make my next video. So anyway, I'm really excited to play with these. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks, guys, for watching. And of course, have a great day. All right, all scrambled up, time to get to work.